What's going on, dudes? Nick here, or RGA Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Uh, this game is pretty awesome. Now, I've been reading a lot of your guys' comments lately, and you've given me so many tips, it makes me kind of want to wish I started over on the prison. Uh, just a lot of things that I've done wrong, and stuff like that. Um, and utilities, so why did those not have power yet? Electrical cable, okay, so it's getting installed, although there's nothing hooking it up over here. That would kind of be useful. I think we got one there, there. Okay, there we go. So now that's got that. Um, since the last episode, I did figure out how to uh, create a laundry area, which I think I forgot to even mention that, because that's right, you guys didn't see that. Basically, what I did was I took, <laughs> and you're probably going to hate me for this, but I took the hallways here, and I converted it into a laundry room. I got two laundry machines and an ironing board. And then same thing over here. Two laundry machines and an ironing board. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's probably a bad idea. I'm sure I'm probably going to get a lot of rage in the comments about that. But, uh, I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. It, uh, it, it serves its function. There was a lot of laundry everywhere, so this stuff's actually going now taking care of that. Now, the other interesting thing, too, was I did find out how to hire um, inmates to do work. So, let's see if we can find one that's actually doing it. Um, basically, what I had to do is on the... Um, where the heck is it? It's under the... the ah, I can't find it. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> where is it? Oh, there it is. The, okay. Basically, I had to put free time slash work time. And that's why no one was able to work, because like even though I had all the stations created for people, um, I couldn't actually hire anybody because there was no work time for them to work. So now I've got two different work slots, and as soon as it becomes one of those time slots, you'll see people come in here, and you'll see them sort the mail and do that stuff. You'll also see them come in here and grab some of the cleaning materials and do all that. So... Overall, everything is pretty good. If we look here, the danger is pretty much gone. We were having a lot of issues with people um, not being happy with certain things, and I didn't even really know about uh, the needs report. But uh, now it's kind of cool because it actually gives me better insight as to what people are complaining about, and uh, it allows me to fix it before it becomes a problem. Uh, so it looks like everything's pretty good overall. Freedom, eh, not, not terrible. Uh, it's a prison, so you're not going to be very free. <laughs> but I did give them a little bit more free time. Um, but it looks like spirituality is something that a lot of people are complaining about. So maybe maybe we should go ahead and build one of those. But uh, let's go back to our uh, grants and see where that stuff is. Um, bureaucracy. Let's see if we can unlock anything through here first. Taser. Someone did say to unlock the tasers. Which I feel like could be a pretty good idea, but we don't have a ton of money right now. We got fourteen thousand. Um, I don't know. They said tasers are a good idea, so maybe maybe we should do that. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and research that. Why not? It's only thousand dollars, and tasers could definitely stop uh, people from getting killed. It allows the guards to fight back a little bit better as well. Um, but let's see what else we can do in here. We've got a decent amount of staff. We've got tons of. Uh, staff we've got tons of guards actually and i think we've got everyone else pretty much all caught up i did fire a few janitors only because we now have some of the inmates doing the janitorial roles as well which kind of works out in my opinion pretty nice because it's i don't really think you're paying them and if you do it's not really a uh, big problem um intake total prisoners um i've got it set to 30 uh, the capacity is 42 but i still want to start off small I don't want to have everything overwhelmed. I mean, I'm still trying to build up the facilities. There's still definitely a lot of stuff that I need uh, to add on here before I want to take in everything. I probably need more staff and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, so look at that. We've got people doing laundry and stuff, so we've got inmates doing that. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I think in order to train them for certain things, we need to have certain classes. Like if I wanted them to be cooks... Then we need to train them to become cooks and stuff like that. Uh, but it's all pretty cool stuff. Now, for grants, I'm trying to think if there's even anything we could really go for. 
Um, let's see. This one here, max sec infrastructure implementation. Um, prerequisites. Okay, so we got that done. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor. Uh, unlock tasers, which we're doing now. Build a CCTV monitor. You know, technically, we've got cameras. We've got the monitor. We've got the tasers going now. Uh, body armor and size of your security force. We might actually have all that stuff. I'm pretty sure we actually have that. Let's go ahead and take that. And unlock tasers. Ha! Sick! That's pretty awesome. So tasers will be unlocked in four hours. And we will be done with that. And we will get $40,000. So that is pretty awesome. So that was actually one of the easiest ones that we've done so far. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on here. Um, oh, crap. I didn't want to click on that one. Um, uh, what is that? Sign three prisoners to work in laundry kitchen and cleaning cupboard. Um, I don't. Well, we've got three doing cleaning. Um, sign three prisoners to the kitchen. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're able to do that. Where is the thing? Prison labor. Um, so we've got laundry. And we've got that. Can we assign one, two, three? And can we assign people to work in the kitchen? One, two, three. Uh, one, two... Three. Okay, actually, we did it. Staff only is what I've got those marked as. I should probably change that. Um, yeah, I should probably change. Although, technically, I think they're staff, right? I don't know. If it's if it's set up as that, you know, I'll just do... Um, uh, what should I change it to? Let's put it to... People with access to the zones. Preferring to take other routes. Uh, maybe change it to that? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that did. I think that messed it up. Let's just go, um... Ugh, because I can't do either of those. And I don't want it to be staff only. Let's, let's just do shared, I guess. Let's do shared, um, with access only. Oh, crap, crap. No, 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 no. There we go. Take it off that. I, I'll see what access only does. I'm not really sure... But, uh, okay, so that gets us that grant. So now we've got actually a decent amount of money. And that will unlock here soon. Let's just see how many more grants we can get. So, unlock education through bureaucracy. Build a classroom. Build 20 school desks. Have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course. Have one pass the general education course. I don't really know how to do that. But I think that's the one we were working on before. Um, what else do we got in here? Produce 30 license plates. Okay, so we don't have anything near that. Serve a single low-quality, low-variety meal for two days. Serve three high-variety, high-quality meals for two days. Interesting. Not really worth 15000 at the moment. Wait for funds. Um, $11,000. That's a long-term investment. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it right now. Raise your prison capacity to 50. I think we're at uh, 42 right now, so we could probably easily do that. Um, we could probably build a whole new cell block for that as well. We've got a decent amount of money. We, maybe we could start working on that. Um, yeah, we could, we could do that. We'll do that. All right, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and the first things first, let's start building this new... I'm trying to think of where to build this. We could technically build it down here and kind of have it... Or should we build it back here and kind of fill in this space? I feel like we should kind of do that. So let's just take apart some of these trees real quick. Dismantle all the trees. And I'll even tell you, tear down this one there. I think we still have... Do we have workmen? Yeah, we still got six workmen. Okay. So we've got workmen, which is good. Uh, we've got power, water. Now, something else that you guys told me was never to run pipes into cells like this. Because apparently you're saying that if it goes through a cell, they can dig into it and they can get out or something like that. Which, that's crazy. <laughs> you guys are also saying um, if I don't have secure access to this building, some other stuff can go wrong. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you said if, if I don't lock this down, then they can get in there and do stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. I mean, I think mostly I've got minimum security prisoners so i'm hoping that they won't actually do that it looks like we got the rest of the money from that bureaucracy thingy there the grant there uh so let's see what else so cell block b so we'll work on that one 
And I feel like I feel like we could do this one now. So let's see. Um, all right, what do we have to do? Have ten prisoners pass the foundation education course. Um, which I don't even know how to do that. Is there like I probably should have read up on that first. Uh, foundation education. Let's see. How do we start it? Led by a teacher in a classroom. Um, do I have to hire a teacher? Is there actually a teacher that we can get? Let's see. Doctor, arm guard, guard, workman, cook, gardener, janitor, dog handler, warden, chief, foreman, psychologist, accountant. Okay, so there is no teacher. There's only a lawyer and a sniper. Interesting. So how do we actually get that class started? How do you promote a class, too? Do we have any classes going right now? No. So we've got nothing going. Foundation education program. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good one to accept. That <laughs> I'm kind of nervous now because I think we have to... We get fined if we don't actually um, complete that. All right. Um... General education and 10 foundation. Okay, so I don't know. I guess is there a way to promote that stuff? Like how do you actually go and promote one of those classes? That seems General education foundation. So zero interested. How do you because it can't it, I can't even like right-click on it or anything to try to get people interested I don't know. I feel like I should abandon that I, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just abandon that one. There we go. Yeah, I lost a little bit of money doing that, but whatever. Um, should I do this one? I don't know if I should. <laughs> I'm sure eventually it'll be worth it, but it's so hard to say. Prison manufacturing. Um, I don't know. We'll have to build onto that. Let's just go ahead and get our next thing started. So let's go into planning mode. And we'll build walls. So basically, we're going to have this as its own wing here. And where can we have it? I'm trying to debate if it's better to have it down here or if we want to put it back over here somewhere. Because it's going to need its own kitchen and canteen and all that stuff. I'm trying to think of how to connect it anywhere. Um, so main entrance is here. Technically... I don't know. <laughs> I don't have this laid out very well. But whatever. It is what it is. I'll just make a new hallway over here or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go from here. We'll just, uh, you know, maybe we'll just open this up and kind of extend it back through here. And then connect it over to here somehow. I don't know. Let's just, let's just go here. We'll put this here. So we'll have... Or do I want it on the bottom? Oh, this makes it so difficult. All right, we'll just put it down here. Whatever. Screw it. Um, we'll put the new cell block here. We'll blow out this cell and just have it go down there. I guess it doesn't even need its own facilities. Ah! All right, whatever. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking this. So if we just go here, we'll build a whole new section on down here. How about that? There we go. So go like that. We'll take this out. We'll turn this into more of a little hallway sort of thing. So that'll become the hallway. And then we'll come in here and we'll have a so we'll have a canteen and kitchen up top here. I think that should work. And we'll have what else do we need? Laundry and showers or something here. And then we can start building cells. Oh, this is kind of a waste. I really just need cells at this point. But that they do need all those other necessities too. So whatever, we'll do that. How many cells can we get in here? I feel like, let's see, it's got to be two, one, two by three. I think that's right. So just go all the way across. And so one, two, three, whoops, <laughs> rip and put this here. This is probably going to be one of the worst designed prisons ever. I'm going to have so many people escape. So that is wrong. I'm going to go out one more wall here. 
All right, so that is that. And then let's say if we wanted to have double hallway, and then we could have this go into here. One, two, three. And then same thing here, so make these cells. There we go. Perfect, and then we could even do cells on the back here. So one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so now we have extra cells here, and then we still got the two, or the three hallway there. And then that way we could have, we could even extend this a little bit. And we'll have a shower. I guess, yeah, that's a pretty big shower. We could have the shower there, and then we could do a uh, common room in here. So this could be, oops, we'll go back to planning. I hate when I hit escape, because it doesn't actually do what I want it to. So we could have common room here, and then laundry could be in here. And so this will be the kitchen here, and then the canteen can be up front. So something like that, and then we'll have a door. So we'll grab some objects, we'll have doors there, and then cell doors on all this there we go and then same thing here and then i guess it does leave us the option to open up over here and it has it all kind of connected so we've got all that and then these will have doors over here door 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 and then the shower and then i guess this could just be opened it doesn't really hurt anything because um, that's the common room and then i guess we could put that there and then we'll have this open here too. And this will be opened up. So that will be gone. And I think that should actually work pretty nicely. All right. So that I think should be good. Uh, we could even turn some of these into solitary cells if we have to. Uh, and we're taking in one more prisoner, normal security. Cool. So that works. All right. Whoops. And we'll take that out. Perfect. All right, so I think we've got our new wing set. And then if we ever need to open it up, we could open up this whole thing here. And maybe we'll even expand the yard a little bit because I feel like they might need some more yard space. I don't know. We'll, we could always do that later on. But let's go ahead now that we've got that all planned out. And let's actually go and build this stuff. So put in the foundation. So we'll do concrete. And we'll put it here. And I think if we go here... Oops. I keep doing this wrong. I don't want to, like, blow out any of the existing stuff. So I think if I go to there, and then I do this, and then I also do this. Oops, crap. That does not need to be there. Okay. So there we go. We'll do that. Like that. Cool. And I think that should be good. And I think we could even... Okay, so we've got the foundation all going in there for that. So that should be good. And then we can also, once that's all roomed in, then we can blow this out. Um, and actually, I think what I'll do before then is I'll go ahead and I'll take um, this door out, dismantle, and then dismantle this. So right now we're going to be losing a cell, but that's okay. Um, we're going to be putting it back soon anyway, so that stuff's all getting dismantled. And should I hire any additional workers? I don't feel like we need to do that at all. We're only making 200 bucks right now. Let's see. If we go back to um, logistics, prison labor, so laundry, kitchen. So there we go. We'll put more people in the kitchen. We'll probably get rid of some of the cooks. Um, one, two, three. One, two. Put a three. Okay, so we'll do that. That actually works out pretty nicely. We'll probably need another uh, one of those rooms. Yeah, we'll probably need another cleaning closet. We should probably put that somewhere else. But that will allow me to get rid of some of the kitchen staff, I believe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll Maybe I can fire one of them. I just got to get some of my costs down a little bit. Because so we've got seven cooks right now. Um, so let's go back to the staff list and see if we can get rid of one of those guys. Now that we've got some prisoners helping out with that stuff, we could probably get rid of these guys. Um, let's just... Oh, auto-saving. Uh, let's just fire somebody. There we go. So now we've got six, three per kitchen, plus we've got extra prisoners helping out with some of that stuff. And people are using the showers. Good. Nothing increasing on the danger report, which is actually pretty good as well. Um, 
And yes, this is going there. So let's just fast forward a bit. Let this get completely done. And we've only got six workers, so it's going to take a long time anyways. But that's okay. I think we really need to build another one of those rooms. Because I really think if we have a second one of those, the prison would be a lot cleaner because we could um, tell a lot more people to use that. So let's go ahead and do that here too. So we'll put in a foundation here. Let's grab brick or concrete and we'll make a little closet over here. There we go. Let's give this one priority and let that go there. So once we do that, if we go back to, uh, is it materials? Yep. No. Objects. We just want a door. I don't know if it has to be, a, I don't think it's gotta be a staff door. So let's put a door here. Let's put it right there. So with the door there, we'll put the new room there. And then we'll, once that room is built, then we can go ahead and designate that to be the, uh, what the heck is that even called? <laughs> this is a supply room cleaning cupboard. Okay. So we can make that the cleaning cupboard. And of course we'll go and build a chapel. Soon because that is one of the complaints. Um, and then we'll, oh, we have to build a lot of this stuff here. But let's do uh, cleaning cupboard. Where is it? There it is. So we'll mark this as the cleaning cupboard. There we go. Perfect. And that should be done here. I think, is that actually done now? I think that is done. Nice. Yep. He went and picked up the last thingy from there. Cool. All right. So now I bet if we go back to logistics, there we go. One, two, three. Perfect. So now we've got three more janitor positions there, which actually will help a lot. Cool. So that'll help. So we've got three more there. We've got, I think, three down here. So that means we could probably even get rid of a janitor or two. Because how many janitors do we have right now? We actually have a lot. So let's just go ahead and get rid of two of those guys. Because we've got so many other staff doing it. Um, I don't know how much money I'm saving from getting rid of these people. But we did go up quite a bit on the cash. Which is cool. And speaking of cash, is there anything in logistics that can get us more cash? What is this thing here? Uh, $50,000. Holy crap. Your accountant stretches the rules. To a breaking point, um, you'll save a total of three thousand dollars in taxes per ten thousand of daily profit. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it because that's basically all the money we have right now. I don't think we can actually even do that because if we do that, then we're not going to have any money left to finish this. So I guess that's going to have to wait a little bit, and our builders need to get back in here. Ha! <laughs> I like how the guard dogs are inside there now. Uh, so let's just go ahead and foundation. Uh, actually, bulldoze here. And then we want to bulldoze here and there. So that way it'll take those three walls out. And I think that should be good. So we could put a uh, security door across there. So we'll go objects and large jail door. And that will go here. Once that stuff is all done, perfect. Actually, that worked out nice there. And they're almost done with this. I want to say they're almost done with that, because now they can get in there. Um, and once that is done, we can actually start putting all the internal walls in. Although right now, I think the prison's open, because I think people could just walk through the outside, which is not good. And rooms, let's just go ahead and take this room out, because that's not really solitary anymore. Perfect. All right. So I think this is actually going pretty well. We just need to get this done, which with six workers, it's definitely a little bit slow. Prisoner wages. Okay. So we do pay, pay the prisoners a little bit, but not terrible. Not terrible. And it does stop me from having to keep all the staff. So that's not bad. And, oh, nice. We can actually uh, objects sell object we can sell the trees get a little bit of money there six hundred dollars from selling a couple trees i should tear down all the trees and make money didn't know you could just tear down trees like that you can just click on them dismantle them and then sell them that's that's actually pretty cool and why are they not finishing this off what is taking all my workers efforts right now they're kind of just sitting around idle i don't know what they're doing Come on, guys, work faster. Maybe they want more help. 
I mean, I do only have six of them, but oh well. It'll be fine. I'm trying to think if we need to hire any more, any more people. So we've got this thing here. I wish we could do that one grand, because that is a lot of money you get from doing this. But for some reason, I can't actually get the classes started. So even if I go to programs, I mean, foundation, education, it's only three people interested. But spiritual guidance is uh, 14. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a lot more people. So maybe we should go ahead and build one of those, too. So I guess while we're at it, foundations, we will go... Uh, building, so we'll just put this, uh, you know, let's not do it there. Let's put it, uh, you know, let's make it out of brick. I think that would look kind of nice. And maybe we'll put it right over here. How about we put it here? We'll go right here. No, I don't want it there. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. What if we put it, like, here? I think that might work. And we'll make that the little spiritual building there. And actually, let's just go... Let's go bigger. Make it bigger. So we'll go here. And that way the fence should keep it blocked in there. And no, don't start working on that one. Keep priority over here. We need the cells first because that's an easy grant. And of course they don't listen. <laughs> well, I got four builders working on that when I've got all the priorities set over here. Ah, oh, stupid workers. Why are they working on that one? That's so weird. They need to be here. Alright, how's everything else doing? Let's go check our needs report real quick, see if there's anything going up. So food, that's obviously going to fluctuate a little bit. Freedom, not bad. Spirituality, uh, we're working on that right there. That should do that. Um, exercise, not bad. If anything, we could put in a few more weight benches or stuff like that. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll grab um, objects. Let's look for weight bench. Let's put a couple more of those in. There we go. Let's put them all throughout the yard. <coughs> cool. Perfect. And these buildings are some of the slowest buildings I've ever seen. I don't get it. This is still set to high priority, and they're putting in the weight benches. My workers are useless right now. <laughs> That's crazy. What is taking so long with that? Requires entrance. Um, oh, what the heck? Oh, wow. I never even noticed that. It's like the concrete is like pouring itself in or something. As you can see, it's doing the same thing here. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, so objects. We need to put a large jail door. Actually, this should probably just be a door, shouldn't it? Objects. We'll put a door um, here. There we go. Okay, so that's why those things take so long. They're done, but they're just like pouring the concrete or something into it. Unless that was the shadow, like the sun shining. Maybe not. Maybe I'm on crack. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're also going to need utilities to these as well. So let's just go ahead and run those while we can. So electrical is currently there. So we'll run electrical there definitely going to need it in the kitchen um we're going to need it down in the cells as well so let's go here and then here that should be good and we're going to need piping so we will grab off of this pipe here and then we'll come through here we're going to need it up in the kitchen as well and that way we've got it in the shower and then we'll run it to here. And then you guys said only use the small pipes in the cells. So we'll do that. And then come in here and do the same thing here. And then also come down and throw it along the back wall there. Okay, so now we've got utilities and stuff going to these. Um, this looks... Okay, so that building looks like it's done. And so let's just go ahead and... We need walls on the front of that, by the way. So we need to go with concrete walls, because I kind of wanted the front to be a wall. So put concrete wall there, there, here, there, there, there. And then we've got the two doors there, so we can go there. So that way that has got that, and uh, obviously that one needs um, electricity as well. 
And the closest electricity is here. So if we go here and then into that, there we go. Now, I think that should be good. We'll let them finish that up. And this one here is still under construction. So what the heck is going on with this? And we've got entrance to it. And they're putting in pipes and stuff. So it's like they're not even working on it. Maybe it's just because it's so big. Okay, so yeah, that was the shadows. I thought that was like concrete pouring through there or something like that. So I am definitely on crack when it comes to that. Uh, but let's go ahead and rooms. Let's just see what the chapel requires. Minimum size, 6x6. Six six. Um, indoors, altar, pews, and prayer mat. Okay, so put that here. Uh, we'll go to objects and look for pews. So put... Um, We'll rotate this a little bit. Put that there. I don't know how much space needs to be between these things. Uh, so, altar. That's the pews. So, put altar. There we go. Put that. That's actually huge. Dang. <laughs> Can that fit up here? There we go. And then we'll grab... Um, what else do we need? Altar, pews, um, prayer mat. Prayer mat. How big are these? Okay. So let's put those back here. Okay. So we've got those. We've got the pews and we've got the altar. There we go. So we've got the chapel and then we can start doing uh, the chapel services. That way it'll kind of reduce that a little bit. And maybe we'll try to get the first one of those done. So let's just go ahead and set priority here. Just so that stuff actually gets done. And this building here, maybe on the next episode, this building might be done so we can actually start uh putting stuff in it i don't know foundation in progress it's still weird that's i feel like i'm doing something wrong but maybe i'm not maybe it's just actually taking a while so i can see they've got a giant brick wall there i didn't think i used brick i thought i used concrete maybe not i don't know oh well all right so the church i think or the the chapel is done because we've got some prayer mats in rooms. Yeah. Okay. So that is good. Let's go ahead and go to our reports and go to programs. And we've got a lot of people um, that are interested in this here. So let's see. So it's led by a spiritual leader in a chapel, which is interesting. So how do we actually get one of those will be the question. Oh, never mind. Just hit start. <laughs> Just hit start. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so we've got... Okay, pretty cool. So we've got people in here. Um, look at that. That's cool. So we had our first spiritual gathering in the prison. That actually worked out nicely. Alright, so... Cool, let's check our reports to see if that actually went down at all. So if we go to our needs... And look at that spirituality. I think it was I think it was higher. I think it was up to like here or something. Maybe not. I'll check, but uh that's actually pretty awesome. Nice. Alright, well, I'd say overall we are doing well. Uh I think we're still waiting for this building to get done. I don't really know. I mean, is is there anything else I can do? So concrete. Um yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just used the wrong type. Maybe it's not supposed to be brick. Maybe it's supposed to be that. So let's put that there. <laughs> Requires entrance. I don't know what's going on here. Foundation in progress. I don't know. I'm just going to leave this episode here. I'm just going to wait around for a while. See if this thing ever just finishes off. Because this is kind of stupid. I don't know what the heck is going on with this. This is weird. But uh, hey, at least we got our little chapel done. Which is actually really cool. So now we can actually start doing those classes. If we go back to programs, how many more people are interested? Um, okay. It looks like, oh, it's, it's going to go every day. Cool. Nice. That is actually pretty awesome. So we've got that going. Kitchen safety. I think if we do kitchen safety, it'll help uh, train the cooks a little bit better. So that's fine. We'll do that. Foundation education. Let's go ahead and start that. We still can't start that. Weird. Maybe we need more people for it. I don't know. But we'll start as many programs as we can. So alcoholics, I see a lot of people talk about that. So at least that'll be going. But uh, I'm just going to wait around for this building to finish. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. 
Hopefully you guys are still liking this here. We didn't do a ton this episode. I really wanted to get started on this thing here. But the game said no, and our workmen are just doing nothing right now. So obviously there's something I'm doing wrong here. So I'll take a look at that while we are gone. And uh, I think everything else should be good. We've got this thing here. And let's just go ahead, deployment, and we'll deploy. Whoops, no, no, not that. Uh, logistics. Okay, we've got people on there. All right, so <laughs> I forgot that I've already done that. Just giving myself a hard time. So there we go. All right, I'm just going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're still loving this game as much as I am. And I'll see you guys next time.